Good afternoon, hello. My name is Daniel. This is the Triathlon Down YouTube channel. Something a little bit different from us today, Liz. We are on holiday in the New Forest. We've mainly been cycling and running, that sort of stuff. But today, we are at where? Wait, Go on, we have to listen to this lady this. saying this one. Beely. Beely. We normally pronounce everything wrong on this channel. <laughs> We're trying harder, aren't we? So, I'm going to ask Google. Now, more specifically, we are at the uh, National Motor Museum, Palace House and Gardens, Beely Abbey, Water Top Gear, the Secret Army Exhibition, uh, blah, blah, blah. There's a monorail and ponds and stuff. What I do know is it's cost us £56 to get in here. Hello, I hope so it's got <laughs> Yeah, so this video needs to do a million views. And I might just about break yes. even. And right. we're about to go and spend more, more money in the restaurant to start oh. with aren't we because oh it's lunchtime god <laughs> anyway so we're going to take you around here see what there is i'm mostly interested in the, mo in the motor museum it's making me feel old but there's quite a lot of cars in there that i think oh i've driven one of those or i've been aware of those so let's go and get some lunch and we get stuck in aren't we yeah can't okay. wait let's have a normal day what normal people do on holidays i don't like you it don't already. do this very often no i don't <laughs> all right lunchtime okay liz Jacket yeah. potato tuna mayo easily please, don't you? Yeah, I love jacket potato. I've already found a way we can start recouping some costs. Get that in your bag now. Pine <laughs> saucers. We never have that luxury at home, do we? <laughs> we do. So on this flyer it says, where marvellous days out are enjoyed together. Yeah. So if we fall out and start bickering, I'm going to ask for a refund. <laughs> the first part is, we had one of those. If you look at those over there. Liz, can you identify any of those vehicles? Uh, Mark III Fiesta, I'm going to go with Mark I Cavalier, I don't know what those other two are, but let us know down below if you had one of those. We're going to go inside the museum because neither of us got sun cream, aren't we? So I know. Let's hope it comes that way. I back. nearly put it in the bag as well and I didn't. Just coming down to the Top Gear zone, if you're a Top Gear fan, a lot of the cars that they've had like, challenges and things are in here, so that stretch, whatever it is. <laughs> uh, we're going to go inside and have a look, aren't we? Are you a Top Gear fan, Liz? I've watched it a bit with you, haven't I? Yeah, it's basically not, basically. I'm, <laughs> I've watched it, you sit there. Yeah, basically. <laughs> That's all. It's pretty cool to see these in the flesh. These are the three vehicles that May, Hammond and Clarkson all tried to cross the English Channel with, or English French Channel. And they're in a, well, <laughs> sorry Jones, to take you there. Richard and James. Yeah, I'll send this soon. This one's actually a bit of a shame that a car like this is used for a challenge and essentially ruined. Peugeot 106 Rally, these are really highly sought after and actually pretty viable nowadays. Not this one though, I don't think. Check that out. Yeah. Those steely wheels, brilliant. They don't make them like this anymore. I remember my dad had one of those, a rally car. One, uh, 106 Rally, yeah. Another like, this was a challenge where they, I think they had the value of a Dacia Sandero to buy whatever car they wanted, bought three cars, did loads of challenges. They're the sorts of things that do really well on YouTube, but you just need like 20 grand in a film crew to start. He was everywhere. Liz, have you parked this one in? <laughs> you put that there. That's got a Liz whoops written all over it. My whoops is all that mm. So now just coming to the actual National Motor Museum and there's different, different ages, so we can only really cover that bit of common really. So I can see there's a Sierra RS Cosworth, that's very nice. And the rest of the stuff, I don't really know what it is, Mini, Ford Anglia, that's about it. Yeah. It's nice that there's some of the bikes that down at UK Bike Fit turns up on, isn't it? Vauxhall 2.2 engine which was used in the VX220 sports car was actually in my opinion quite a lazy engine I think it made something like 150 horsepower from a 2.2 which wasn't like that good but it's supposed to be quite reliable and so on and lightweight as well on a minion but yeah cool to see like a cross section of an internal combustion engine petrol with the little valves on top and the pistons and so on I used to fiddle with cars years ago I never stripped an engine down but I did blow one up and saw all the bits afterwards how about this? The Ford Pinto engine. This came in so many vehicles and it's still used in like Mark 1, Mark 2 Escorts to this day. Very reliable, very like commonly used and parts are still kicking around from quite a lot. Not the lightest because I think it's a, I think it's a steel block but still sounds good in an Escort, I know that. One of the key differences between this and a more modern engine is it's only got a single overhead cam whereas engines like that red top Vauxhall over there has got twin overhead cams. 
Hi, you haven't come to put your car in. Badly crashed Bullnose Morris. Looks tidier than our garage. Yeah. They would not be able to repair such a car here. And it would probably have remained out back, slowly being stripped for spare parts. Look at that, for a tandem. The wartime surrounded by some sealed space. Tickets, please. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Not much has changed. I bet you went to school on one of these, didn't you? <laughs> I'm not that old. I got driven by my mother, actually. <laughs> this is a bit more of a bit of me. Mark II Escort, full Rothmans livery, like works rally spec. This looks awesome, doesn't it? I'm sure there's a lot of people watching this channel who have had one of these as a kid. No, not Rothmans this year, but like an actual Mark II Escort. Learned to drive in one because they were like the common family car. My dad had a couple, and he rallied one as well, so yeah, awesome. I always say that like one day, if the right one came up, and if I'd somehow found 60 grand down the back of the sofa, <laughs> um, that I'd have one just to, just, yeah, just to keep forever. But I don't know if that day's coming anytime soon. They're only going up, up, up and up in price, aren't they? But what can you do? Obviously, I wouldn't have a full-on like, work spec, you know, like a, a fast road spec. Yeah, you happy with that? Liz really wants to go on the monorail, but I can't get the, the Simpsons episode out of my head. Monorail, monorail. Mm. Exactly. So let's just get on the monorail. Yeah. You too busy being educated while I sat here watching TV. <laughs> 800 years ago, and demolished in 1538 by King Henry VIII at the time of the Reformation, it was then sold to my ancestor, the Earl of Southampton. <laughs> Give me that. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay, normal activity done and dusted. I'm really struggling in the heat and I am struggling. I'm red hot, there's a little drained. Cool. It is muggy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Have a good day? Yeah, it's been nice, hasn't it? What was your highlight? Uh, Seen the Mark II Escort? No. Nah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know else. I don't know, I've just enjoyed it all. It's been yeah. nice to do something different. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right, well, that's it then. Thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe. Uh, there'll, there'll be no more of this coming, don't worry about that. The back to the trial. Back to cycling yeah. tomorrow. Exactly. See you there. See ya.